You never had a picture of them before? <laughs> Stay tuned and you'll see how to make them for yourself. Alright, so there's no measurements for this. You see we got some jalapeno, that's something we add. You don't have to. This is one of those things you put whatever you want in. Gotta have a cream cheese. Don't forget the cream cheese. Some other cheeses, so we got some sharp cheddar, we got some Monterey Jack. Of course, you gotta have some chupacabra rub. Red noxious, good with pork. And that's what we got down here. We got sausage, about quarter inch cut. Bacon, thick cut bacon cut in half. Don't use wimpy, thin cut bacon. They won't stand up and they won't look good. So, we're gonna go from here now to making the filling with these things, right? That are gonna be inside the shoe goes. In goes a jalapeno, the cheese. And what we're doing, actually, you won't be able to tell from watching the video, but this is going to be a two-day process. This stuff gets a lot better if you let it sit overnight. So we're making the stuffing now, the filling, and then tomorrow we're going to actually create the shooters, and we're going to stuff them and cook them tomorrow. So you get to see that tomorrow. Some of that noxious. That's good. Because then at the end tomorrow we'll sprinkle that on it. All right, it's about to get loud. Yeah, we're using the KitchenAid mixer. You don't have to. If you don't have one, don't worry about. It. You can do this with your bare hands. You're just gonna have to clean your hands. You can do it in any kind of mixer, blender, <clears throat> or bare hands. You're gonna do it with bare hands. Let that. Uh, Cream cheese soften up a little bit. Alright, next thing will be stuffing. Alright, so now it's time to build the shot glasses. So, see, we're grabbing a piece of bacon. We're going to wrap it so that piece of sausage is the base of the glass, basically. And you need it, you see how thick we cut it, you need it that thick because what she's going to do next, she's going to run a toothpick through where the ends meet, right? If it's not thick enough, it won't hold it. And there's a shot glass. So she's going to build. We've got 20 of them to build, and then we'll come back and we'll show you how we feel. Alright, so if you're going to use a plastic bag to squeeze out through the corner, make sure you got the plastic bags that have an actual corner. These ones don't. That didn't work so we're going back to old school where she's scooping it with a spoon so the good thing is it's pretty soft because we took it out for about 40 minutes before we started all this so now what she's going to do is just fill each one of those when we're done filling them we're going to sprinkle a little more of that uh, rub on them the rib noxious chupacabra and then they're going on the grill and we'll show you that process in a minute all right all right I'm gonna have a little fan noise out here but here we go, there's the grill, you see there's charcoal on one side, and we put these guys over here. So this is an indirect method. Also, besides putting some more of the dry rub, the chupacabra rub on top of them, you can see we got a little bit of brown sugar on top of them too. So I'm gonna finish loading these guys up on, and you can cook them, this is just our Weber grill with charcoal. You can smoke them in your smoker. Hey, you wanna cook them on your gas grill, I would do something indirect because you want the bacon to be able to cook without flaring up and overcooking everything else. That's why we're doing the indirect method. If I had the flames right underneath it, that would flare up and burn up, cause a big mess. So, whatever way you can cook them where you're cooking them indirect, that's the best way to cook them. All right, let me load this thing up. We'll come back and check on them in uh, 45 minutes or so. All right, let's take a peek at these bad boys. It's been about 15 minutes or so. Probably got about another 10 to 15 minutes. You keep on tilted over a little bit, but that happens. All right, time to test that bad boy out. Mm -hmm. Perfect. 
perfect blend of this of the sweet and the brown sugar and the spice rub and then the, uh, the jalapeno that's in it and again the beautiful thing about these is put in whatever you want to put in we just show you what the basics are of it all right so do me a favor hit the subscribe button down below if you enjoy seeing these videos little notification bell beside it click that sucker and it'll let you know each time I get a new video up right and hit the thumbs up that helps the analytics and gets this video out there and there's also a share option down there if you want to share the friends Facebook uh, Twitter wherever that would really help out all right folks until next time peace out